Okay, get the next message I greet all of you. This is a message for my phenological engagement group online. Whether you are a new learner or a member of the colloquia, the difference between the two is basically whether or not you have done a full annual cycle of study of research, phenological research at a site of your choosing and you know kept some kind of study notes on some kind of medium and know the majority of the large visible players um, in the environment of your site. If you've done that with me either through the Kainai Studies program at Red Crow College or if you've done that with me since, particularly in the last year online, or if you are an, one of the very few invited naturalists to my group, then um, I consider you members of the colloquia, uh, which is a lifetime thing. <laughs> I mean, you can opt out, but I'm never going to close the door. Um, you've, you've done your your one year of uh, proving yourself and now some of you may have done a year of the of the course with me but not actually completed your full year of phenological research and i'm not talking if you know you went you had some commitments for um half of a lunar cycle or even a whole you know maybe you missed one lunar cycle out of the annual round, that's not bad. But if you were, you know, spotty in your study <laughs> and uh, weren't doing it a couple of times a week regularly, then while you're in the colloquia uh, officially, um, and I, again, I won't ever shut that door on you, of course. Um, I would recommend doing your full year of study as a first step rather than engaging in any of the additional activities that I'm going to begin today um, suggesting for the colloquia, uh, the broader colloquia. So, <laughs> so basically if you're a new learner if you're just entering into the course, and we are starting our second year um, online in this in this format, uh, where you can access video lectures and uh, we can share photographs and videos and text and all kinds of stuff, um, we are entering our second year online, and our second, you know, another winter is upon us. Right, we're just starting, just entering adult story, so it's a good time to kind of look at what we're going to do for the next annual round. Um, one of the things that you will do if you're a new learner um, is you'll start following um, some of, I'll, gui I'll guide you for a little bit in um, giving you some things to do at your site. The very first thing you should do is, is go and make an offering and talk to your site and explain what you're there to do. Um, what you what you hope to gain and what's your interest in being there and then <clears throat> when you return again um, I, you know I always look at the first lunar cycle as a, as a time for you to kind of take inventory to go through and get to know your site if this is a new thing for you go through and get to know you know as many of the visible players as there are now um, because things will get very hectic in summer so you're first little bit you're just learning who's who putting names to faces at your site okay but for those of you who've done the year um, as we go into this new winter um, I want you guys to grow right I want you guys to um, to grow beyond the the basic method that I taught you and start to have some more um, focused study and start to review um, what you've learned. 
So first step I believe everybody should do is go back to your field notes that you've taken um, and look at what you learned during this lunar cycle last year. Um, you might want to review my lecture video, which I will be posting here uh, for the new learners to, to check out. Um, but you might, yeah, you might want to, uh, and when I say posting here, I mean at, at, on the Facebook group, on the private Facebook group. Um, but they are available on my YouTube channel as well. If you're a YouTube subscriber, there's a playlist called Phenolo Phenology Lectures, I believe. Um, and the and the the first one we're doing is Itotstoi, when the when the cold weather arrives, when the winter arrives. So go back and review your notes. Look at what you learned last year, what you were noticing. I think you're going to see that there's a huge um, change in the amount of knowledge that you have about your site. You, you certainly should be. But in any case. Um, Check out the kind of questions you had last year and do you have answers to those questions? And if not, is this a good time to pursue those questions as we're going into this lunar cycle? Are there other questions that you can develop based on what you saw last year um, to, to check and see if the same kind of events are happening? You know, this is an important part of it. And I don't even do it enough, is going back and reviewing what we saw the previous year and starting to <clears throat> you know develop our own methods however you might want to do that of trying to um, keep track of lunar cycle by lunar cycle what happens at your site what's the what are the the micro cycles within that lunar cycle and the relationships that that um, have uh, accentuations and falls and this kind of a thing during this time so that's you know as we move into the second year that should be your basic exercise continue doing the regular field work as you have been but in review of your past and trying to build on that um, check checking that past with what we're seeing today exp you know thinking about what might be reasons why we're noticing if we notice differences um, and just you know reflecting reflecting on what we've learned and preparing ourselves you know every time we come out to learn some more that's going to be the basic method in in year two or three or four or five you know continue continue the long-term study the incremental study um, but make sure you review what you've learned already and are building on that and and uh, really becoming a part of your place uh, so that you you know you're so engaged with the changes as they as they occur and are expected to occur um, but I've got something else too I've got another idea an additional learning experiment that I want to invite the members of Colloquia to engage in. And again, if you haven't done your first solid year of study, uh, maybe you should do that first. I'm not going to, of course, I'm not going to tell anybody what they have to do or don't do. Um, but I really think that first year of study of really intensely um, just coming and doing the basic exercise of visiting is really, really important um, to set a good foundation. So, for those who have done that, uh, my suggestion, or what I'm inviting you to, is a, a two-year um, research project within your regular practice. You can be incorporated into your regular practice and we'll start like this. Each lunar cycle for this, for this year, for this annual round, in each lunar cycle we will select one species at our site to really focus on. Doesn't mean don't look at everything else as you visit your site, but it means spend some additional time that more than you normally would 
with this, with this species that you've chosen to study. You might even do some lit review, um, adding into, you know, what uh, your knowledge of the, of the species. However, when you do the lit review, do keep in mind to question it um, because they're often, <laughs> you know, literature is often built on other literature and who knows who had the first observations and whether or not they were accurate um, or culturally biased, right? So make sure that you challenge that literature with your own observations. Don't just buy into it. But not saying that surveying the literature is a bad thing, okay? Um, it can be helpful. So you might want to include that. And pay attention to the ecology. Um, the other lives that, that that species connects with because as we move into the second moon, we will ch when we choose our second species, I want it to be a species that relates ecologically to the first species, that has a connection, and so on into the year. Um, you won't, by the way, in month, in lunar cycle two, you won't stop studying the first species that you were um, during the lunar during the first lunar cycle you will continue that more intense study of that particular species for a full annual round right so that not until the end of awakatsuki some are you done look really really paying attention to that that first species you chose during this lunar cycle today um, and in each additional lunar cycle as we go through this round we will choose another species that relates to the one before it if you get me and do an annual round of study on that species so this is a really a two-year research project and at, at some point there will be one lunar cycle where we'll be kind of intensely studying 12 different species at our site but, um, but then it will start to wane. It'll be like a, a larger cycle in itself, hey? a two-year two -year cycle. So we'll build up to 12 and then count back down as we come out of that. If you, if you get me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, if I'm just confusing people or what, but because um, I guess it's a little bit hard to explain. It'd probably be easier on paper. But basically, if I choose to do the narrow leaf cottonwood as my species for this lunar cycle, then I'm going to continue studying that tree all year. You know, until I come to the end of summer for next for the next summer. Um, and then this 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 lunar cycle presently, you know, I'll focus only you know on that tree and then doing my regular round. As the next lunar cycle comes in, I'm going to look for something that I've found to be in connection with that tree. Say, um, say a black-capped chickadee. And so I'll start that, I'll start an annual research project on that species. And build up until we have 12 species and then start. By that time, I should be done with the tree that I started with. Start counting back down as, as we go through the second year. And I, I haven't done that myself yet. I'm going to do that this year along with anybody else who accepts the invitation and um, see where it leads in terms of the increase in the knowledge of our site um, that it might lend to. So that is my invitation as my uh, update and, um, and kind of a, a welcome to new learners as well. Um, do your first year and do it diligently and uh, the people who are here on this colloquy are, are here to uh, offer you direction as well and help answer questions and this kind of thing again